Good morning, replay viewers. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Let's Talk Astronomy here on a Thursday morning. My name is Dennis, and I teach at High Point University. And I'm getting ready for class to start in just a few minutes. Here's my classroom. It's empty right now. But getting ready for class to start. And I want you to give a, I want to give you a heads up about next week's homework. Uh, next week, we're going to be looking at galaxies and we're going to be talking about our galaxy. So I wanted to share with you a little bit of the demonstration that we're going to do and give you an assignment, okay? Uh, what I've got here on the floor next to me is uh, a black cloth with a uh, black poster board on it. And we're going to make a scale model, a scale model of the Milky Way galaxy using salt. Hello, hi Deanna, nice to see you. We're going to make a scale model using salt next week. And I just wanted to give you a heads up uh, for homework here. This is a regular bottle of salt, 737 grams of salt. And uh, I'm going to take the salt and pour it out here into a spiral. Here's our Milky Way galaxy. Our Milky Way, as we currently understand it, has four spiral arms. So I'm going to put four here. And uh, next week we're going to do this in class. We're going to make a, a spiral, there you go, a little bit more. We're going to make a spiral galaxy, but your assignment, your homework assignment, and, I, and I'd like for you, yeah, this is salty, I'd like for you not to look this up. Please do not do any research. Do it just out of your own head. If every grain of salt, if every grain of salt here in our model, if every grain of salt equals one star, and there's about 300 or 400 billion stars in our Milky Way galaxy. How much of this box of salt, 737 grams, how much of this box of salt should I use? Or, or if you want to go to an extreme, how many of these boxes of salt would I need to use, or what percentage, what fraction of this box of salt would I need to get about 400 billion grains of salt? 400 billion stars in our galaxy. So that's your homework assignment. Please don't look it up, but uh, see if you can figure it up. And we're going to do that next week here in our lab. But I just wanted to give you a heads up on the homework. Um, maybe I'll see you at the observatory um, tomorrow night. So uh, I want to thank you very much for dropping in. And uh, well, they're, they're just regular grains of salt. So the one box is 737 grams. So um, do your best estimate. Try to figure out how many, either on an extreme, how many boxes of salt, or what percentage of a box of salt, what fraction of a box of salt would I need to use to have 400 billion grains of salt, represent each grain of salt representing one star. So thank you very much for dropping by today. Appreciate it. Hope you have a wonderful Thursday. And remember, keep looking up, okay? Bye now. Have a good one.